this is Don't Flop April Fools, the fourth annual April Fools event. One more time, birthdays, East London. Make some fucking noise. Let's go. Yes. What's cracking? If you're two, at, twi uh, at twenty, <laughs> at twenty-five now. I'm, I'm twenty-five years old today, but at Twitter, on the Twitter, at Don't Flop. Big up every single person that's played a part in the last five, six years of Don't Flop. It was crazy. Shout out to my brother every time. Kruger, we were nineteen years old. We started this shit. Now we're in a, we're getting old and we don't know what to do in our lives, man. Fuck it, it's all good. <laughs> now, last battle of the day, pick up all the staff in the building. Thanks to all the crowd for coming to a new location, new venue, new area, everything. All right, final battle, the main event of main events for day number one. Team on my right hand side, the current two on two tag champs. You know the name, make some noise for Shuffle T and Marlo. <laughs> One round battle, baby. One fucking round, and that is it. So on the left hand side, please, everybody, put your hands together, make some noise, make them feel welcome, and fantastic. Let's go. Make some more noise, people. Let's go. Right. Fantastic. Fuck them. Alright. Look. It's a grudge match. It's a grudge match shit going on right now. Drink them! There's been a beef going on for a long time off camera. I'm sure you've seen the blogs and all the forum posts, man. We thought the only way to settle their differences was on the Don't Flop stage in the Don't Flop ring at April Fools 2014. Alright. Fantastic lost the flip and uh, yes, <laughs> Shuffle T and Marlo chose to go first, so it's the final battle of the day, the main event. This is bigger than the fucking title match, baby. Shuffle T and Marlo, round one. Let's go. Yo, a lot of people have been saying that we don't deserve these two as opponents. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> but we're the two and two champs. <clears throat> we're the most perfect duo that's going. They've been calling us out for time, thinking our nerves were soon to be broken, but now we're snapping, twigging to fractured bits, and we'll be burping you in a moment. <laughs> Coke and Lil both think you're a cunt. <laughs> Fat as a pseudo urine wannabe in a tie dye can. I'll straight up walk into a shop and fucking buy Sprite Fag and fuck all the sticks. I'll treat you guys like crap until you give Jeff his 3G and Wi Fi back. <laughs> Just a can of drink and a twig. You'll get fucking snapped to bits and you'll end up with a shattered lid. I saw a girl walk up and purchase you in a pack of six and I went up to her and full on fucking slapped the bitch. <laughs> we hit the forum and started moaning that we weren't rap enough. Please. And we were fired up like, man, I'm gonna smack this cunt. It's just a minute. You were too scared to battle us. It's ironic you were shook and it gassed me up. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking picked you up and threw you in the forest out with my dog. And to be honest, that pissed him off. He tried back with a log like, what was that shit you lobbed? <laughs> you think because you're a singular twig in the middle of this, you're all minimalist and art house. But I know all your secrets. Let's bring up your past now. Incest. Yeah, it's getting pretty dark now because you stick to your own since your family tree wouldn't leave and branch out. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's gonna spend Daddy spending time with me! <laughs> we'll take those fake clones, break both! I'd rather taste coke! Your mum's a great oak! If you both walked into <laughs> If you both walked into a bar, you'd sound like the setup to an actually great joke! <laughs> I'll follow stick on Twigger, please. <laughs> I used to want him to follow me back quick. But then I checked his Twigger feed and all it was was a blank script. And then it hit me, see, why as a blogger he's that shit. He doesn't have hands. Because he's a damn stick. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a Christmas gift, you'd be a type of sweater. If you were a human, you'd be Michael Serra. <laughs> you're the shittest drink I've fucking sighted ever. You know you're fucking shit when fucking Sprite is better. And you should fear us when you hear that. 
this is a mere Khan versus a mere can. And if, and if, I, if I mix the blend, I bet I'd make a better tasting mock of you with 50 pence of Tesco Savers lemonade and orange juice. Oh! I next nominated my friend and he accepted his place. Drank a pint of urine and diarrhea with nothing left of a trace. I challenged him to one shot of Fanta and he felt so betrayed that he cried a single tear and shot himself in the face. In remembrance of Dave. <laughs> so you're lucky you didn't get stabbed at entrance. I'ma have Fanta ended, you stupid Jaffa bent kid. You look like Cracker, blended. <laughs> On YouTube, we're the realest, bitch. We got screws loose like a Kia kit. Mm. On a forest wood route when I seen this kid, I confused you for a piece of shit. <laughs> you auditioned for Harry Potter to be used as a staff. Is it true that the cast and crew Is it true that the cast and crew members laughed that when you begged to be a one they said you ruined the part? That just that just proves how much of a fucking loser you are. And if I see any of your female sticks, I instantly lose my erection. And here I was, thinking that you were the dead words. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're the fucking best ever. We have no stress. You're as relevant as the Jonathan Ross chat show guest. We'd only order you as a drink in the Nando's vet if there was no Coke Pepsi or Tango left. <laughs> Ran out of voice. <laughs> so you'll get fucking shot with a bullet in your ass. Wait, stop with that and rescan. Synonymize it. I said I'll pop a cap in your can. <laughs> See, come on. Okay. See, there's a similarity between you and me. When I throw those punches, I'm no good for teeth like you when you're not sugar free. <laughs> Don't you fucking look at me! <laughs> what up, bitch? We are now in the building rhyming. <laughs> What's that? The sound of his children dying. <laughs> You don't get chicks most evenings, strewn to the wayside. Kids won't even use you for play fights. <laughs> you know what your problem is? You let people walk all over you. You need to man the f You need to man the fuck up, stick. And Fanta, you sock, bitch. If I threw a party with some snackies and some drinks, invited just a whole bunch of lads and then one chick, I'd have a way better shot at macking the slot with Panda and Bucks Fizz, you arrogant dumb prick. I hate, I hate all you soft drink pussies. You think you're the best of all of them? Well, let me tell a story then. Now, back in year three, I I had this clever, awesome friend. He asked me not to use his real name, so let's just call him Ben. We were kicking it since we met up at the Reading Norfolk Crash in school. He was popular with every baller there. In math, science, English, he was head of all the sets. Yeah, the teachers liked the fucker, but we'd never call him Pet. Because the ladies loved him too, and he had sex before his tenth. But that all changed when he got into Fanta, and he let it warp his head. He couldn't, he couldn't stop using it like Jesse on the meth, and it turned him into a dick, and he lost next to all his friends. His girls started cheating and when he saw the text of that preppy horrid sent to Kevin, Paul and Glenn it left him all depressed. He drank Fanta for weeks and got plaque in his teeth and now he'll never walk again. <laughs> you pathetic corporate mess. I wish you every sort of death. I hope a leopard mauls you next so you're forever short of breath. What are we doing man? <laughs> <laughs> Menacingly sever your eject so that you get an awkward head like any porn that's French. And when I've stomped you so there's no more metal form that's left, because I broke the tin, you'll know that this revenge is all for Ted. Ben. <laughs> so now we just battered the popular lads to death and clashed with the top of the battle heads. Now that we're back and we're chopping off rappers' heads, Ladder and Morrison bag are next. <laughs> Time. Double shuffle to your Marlo, now we're back to the battle. Round number one is on fantastic, let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
Christian dickheads. Bro. <laughs> Say something that's boring. When I'm up here, well, it's great fun when I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs>